So. <laughs> you can hear my baby. What you want? What you want? Helen? What you want? <laughs> Joys of fatherhood. Oof. Oh boy. 43 years old. Ah, fucked up, man. What the fuck? You can see that buffalo there is shitting. You can see that? That is how it feels to be 43 years old. Uh, buffalo's tail is up. His asshole is open. And he's trying to shit it out. <laughs> ah, boy. He's constipated, I think. He's trying to shit it out. So... This is <laughs> this is how it feels to be a year older. <laughs> I couldn't have timed it better. I couldn't have said it better. You're just going through the motions of shitting out everything that's useless, that's messed up, fucked up, and trying to have a better life. So, 43. Let's see. I'm sure if... You follow me online if, that is if you have no other job, <laughs> no other job to do. Uh, you would have known uh, I posted the update exactly on uh, my birthday. The reason I did that was because uh, the following year, at the same time, Facebook has the news feed that keeps uh, repeating itself. So I thought it would be nice to have this memory on that date, on that time. Now, uh, um, you know, just to give you a summary of what happened, uh, wifey was the first one to wish me uh, at around uh, midnight one. My cousin sister wished me, but that was uh, 40 minutes before. I don't know, maybe she was going to go to bed or something. So she's, I said, she's still 30 minutes or 40 minutes more. So wifey waited until it was 12. And dutifully at 12, sharp, she came into the room, wished me, gave me this sheet of paper. Uh, no, she gave me this box and she said, happy birthday, okay? So I took the box and... Uh, you know, first, obviously, it is guess what. So I opened up the box. And there, first, I saw a piece of paper that said 10 million US dollars. So, and that is what I showed all of you. So what uh, you guys didn't see in that was my wife actually, um, below that, she had given me Thai baht currency. And that was 10,000. So what she was trying to imply was, I wish I could give you 10 million, but this is all I can afford. And for a girl who doesn't earn, who sells clothes, uh, second-hand clothes for a living and, you know, her margins are hardly half a dollar or whatever. She paying all the expense, paying everything in the house, taking care of whatever there is. She still managed to save, save, save. And maybe through a few weeks or months, she was able to save and buy for me, you know, save the cash for me. And uh, the poor thing tried to tell me like uh, in her fragmented English, at least she speaks English, I don't speak Thai. Such a shame, I have to learn, uh, but I'm lazy. Anyway, so she told me, I saved long time, long time, many, many months. <laughs> so the poor thing <laughs> tried to tell me that, you know, it was not easy to save. So I registered that in the head. I didn't say anything. So then we took the photographs and put it up. So I had the 10,000. I had that paper. The paper, I kept it at the top. The 10,000, I then kept it in the box. And after that, I went to my wifey and I gave it to her. I said, okay, keep no sooner I said that, her face, you know, expression changed. She looked upset. She was like, uh, you don't want 
uh, and I said, no, 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 this is for us, like, because, uh, you know, I'm, see, technically speaking, I'm the guy who earns in the house, okay, I'm the guy who earns, I'm the guy who gives, and uh, it's like, for example, to give you an analogy, it's like, you earn, you take care of your son or your daughter, you give them pocket money, and your daughter or son saves the pocket money, and then gives you the cash and says, here, dad, this is for you. So, <laughs> it's, the gesture is amazing. It's a feeling that you cannot explain. It's full of love and it, it really stays inside, you know. Uh, but on a practical side, it's like, anyway, you have to earn and take care of them. So, I didn't want to upset my wifey, so I told her, no, no, you keep this because you're like my bank. So when I want, I will ask you and then you can buy from me. So that kind of made my wife happy. And she told me, yeah, yeah, I want you to buy a game because I like buying games online. So, <laughs> so to keep my wife happy, I will have to select a game that I'll want to buy, maybe at a later date. And maybe just buy and keep and tell her, okay, I, buy, I bought it. But at the same time, it'll be back of my head to give my wife back uh, this money because, you know, it's, I want her to, it's her money. It's, uh, it's something she can buy for herself. And I also had, the funny, ironical thing is, I was thinking about what to give her on my birthday in terms of cash. Uh, I've been saving up some. So I'll couple that with this and give her a surprise maybe on Valentine's Day or something like that. So it's all about planning, you know, what is next and making sure that I take care of family. You know, like uh, one of my friends, her name is Christina. So she, I've known her for many years, from childhood, man, fuck. So she, know, she knew me from the time I was a, <laughs> I think what, seven, uh, ten, seven or eight year old. And uh, those days we used to sing songs in parties, you know, Hindi, English songs. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, so embarrassing. So, we used to sing. And uh, so, she knows me from, uh, she knows me from that time. So, she sent me a message. She said, I know you don't celebrate your birthday, but here's wishing you and all that. And spend time with your family, with your wifey and baby. And she's right. I mean, what else do we have other than spending time with the family? And then I just replied to her, getting old, Baba. So, <laughs> getting old, man. I, that's how I talk to her. So she replied again, saying that on her birthday, she got uh, herself a cake with, uh, you know, toy cars and all that at the top. And the reason for this is her son likes toy cars and cakes and chocolates and she doesn't like so she bought it to keep them happy <laughs> and I can relate to that because I ordered uh, I don't like cakes I really don't uh, people have always purchased cakes and this and that I might eat ice cream but I don't eat cake but my wife uh, likes cake and my baby definitely loves she likes to make a puddle out of the cake and eat and smear herself so I was like, to cheer them up, I told my wife, okay, let's go get a cake. And my wife was, yeah, we'll go get a cake. I said, yeah, yeah, which cake? And she said, oh, whichever cake you like. So initially she wanted strawberry, but the thing is, I don't like strawberry, so then it'll not look nice, I'm not eating. So I told her, get a chocolate or uh, vanilla or almond or something. So we went, we checked. I found a nice little cake with almonds and uh, ice cream and that and so I bought it home and now we will cut it afterwards and uh, have baby and wifey enjoy. So <laughs> it's, uh, see the reason why I, oh, someone, anyone who's old celebrates their birthday or does this is not for them. We don't do it as we grow older. And if you're younger, you will not be able to understand this. But as you get older, this happy birthday, you don't give a fuck to it, man. You don't think about it. You don't even bother. 
it's like uh, it's just another day it just reminds you oh shit okay i was born this day many years ago but uh, you know you have your priorities life just goes on it's business as usual and um, you just start contemplating and reflecting on the same things like even right now in my head it's like okay how many emails what is the work to do who are the clients to meet uh what are the expenses for the next 2 3 months what are the things that I have to provide for the wife for me for the baby uh for the future mm, yeah you know i have to creatively think what what is the next project what is the work at hand so all these things are there back of the head and uh, that is what i actually want to do but then Th- that shit is every day that is almost every day in fact to tell you how did i celebrate my birthday i mean uh, after my wife wished me uh, all the pleasantries were over i went back uh, i was eating food and that time a client from australia just sent me a message and said hey man uh, uh, you know just want to talk and uh, at first i just thought it was another happy birthday or he said uh, i want to have a session so when i checked uh, it was you know it was a old client so i said i don't owe you a session he said no i want to book a session so i said oh fine say like that so immediately because a client was ready to pay money i immediately said yes for me money talks man and had the session spoke to him after that i finished the session I kind of realized that uh, I had this uh, videos of a Thai massage center where I had a massage done with a fire you can see it on YouTube the problem with that uh, video was I had many many clips many clips scattered throughout my phone and given the fact that I have uh, I think 64 GB on my phone my phone gets filled up very fast and if I don't get rid of the videos they just pile up So it's like I have to get rid of this, and also I had to go for a massage today, uh, as a birthday massage. Maybe I'll go for two hours, especially for my legs for blood circulation. So it's like I want to finish this, and then I was like, "Fine, I'll finish it right away." So at around I think two or three in the night, I started to uh, do the video editing, and you know, if it's a straightforward video like this, it's just. upload it check the voice check the audio check sorry check the audio check the video check the lighting it's perfect upload it i have a template uh so it's just the rendering part then the uploading part then the youtube uh, basics you know filling up the details designing the thumbnail okay but when you have a video that has many many splits uh areas that you have to edit remove make fast slow um uh, stuff that is uh, boring for the audience a uh, lot more effort goes into that a video like that takes two times or three times the effort so where a video like this would take say 45 minutes to finish upload and share a video like that would take 3 hours 4 hours and it did i ended up uh, uh sleeping by the time i finished i was exhausted and i finished at around i think 6 uh 30 6:30 6:30 i went to sleep in the morning ah fuck when i woke up i was like ah fuck like a zombie you know when you wake up after sleeping irregular hours and not properly you and especially if you're old older not old you fuck you just don't want to do anything But I got up. My legs were aching. My body was aching. Coronavirus. <laughs> like to scare my wife. So I, you know, I didn't want to do anything. I just thought, okay, I'll go for a massage and enjoy. It. But then I was like, no, it's my target. Must finish my five to six kilometers slow run. Push yourself. So I went, started slow, still felt lethargic. But after some time. the body just wakes up and then i was like okay i'll need to do this video 
so overall it it's just been a normal day man it's been a normal day the only thing that is there in my head is okay i want to take my wifey out for food uh for some kind of enjoyment i want i want her to feel relaxed i want her to feel loved uh, she and the my baby girl uh, just for them to feel happy you know because for me it's all about making money and focusing on my career my life but yeah one thing is given the fact that i'm 43 i have couple of now you know things up my head i need to sharpen my skills i need to read and study and learn something new i can't keep giving people old stuff there is competition there are people learning new technologies uh, formats i need to be the best in my industry so i have to learn some i have to spend some time allocate these many hours into reading studying so i have gathered at around i think 15 15 books or 20 books from uh, resume rebranding to interview skills the latest ones and uh, first i will finish all of them after i finish all of them underline take down the notes and see what are the new things that i can learn from oh yeah by the way i also wrote an article about a school teacher of mine who used to help me in the days when i was a jackass <laughs> I was a really mischievous kid man so i even put that so yesterday was a productive day it was a nice day i was able to put a lot of content which for me is very important i need to brush up on my writing skills because I realize it slowed down a little bit there so I might uh, start focusing on writing an article a day maybe i'll just uh, join a medium or something i don't know let's see so overall uh, this has been how the birthday went oh yes plenty of messages whatsapp and i appreciate it guys I appreciate it um you know yes i do know that it's thanks to mark zuckerberg that everyone remembers my birthday others nobody would remember it's not like we have kept a private data entry of loy mesido's birthday don't forget to wish him in fact for me to remember my wife's birthday even though she repeats it 100 times i keep forgetting so i'm bad at that or rather maybe i don't think it's very special or anything great to remember a birthday so yeah well thanks to mark zuckerberg all of you remember my birthday but the fact that you took the trouble uh, i appreciate so half of the people i don't know who they are <laughs> more than half i think just maybe 5% rest everyone is like i don't know but yes i'll respond to each and every one that's what i always do i always respond to each and every one each and every wish each and every person so yeah now the game plan is finish the video get fresh go for the massage ensure that the legs will take care of the health then uh, have food in the house plan out the shopping and think of something special for wifey uh, where she can go out eat something feel nice uh, you know just want them to feel special so yeah guys this is 43 you know and if you want to know how does it feel people ask me how does it feel to be 43 uh, my answer to you is how did you feel last year how did you feel the year before how did you feel the year before that how do you feel now you feel the same it's just that these numbers keep rolling people say age is just a number age is not just a number age is a number that does have its impact and implications just as a brand new car never been used versus a car used for 10 years or 20 years there's wear and tear same thing wear and tear is there maybe mentally you will feel invincible but there are a lot of things a small baby can do which you can't from your bones to your joints to your health to your immunity you realize this only when you get old yes there are some people who say oh jennifer lopez look at jennifer lopez baba if you believe that she is natural <laughs> like they say in hindi no charana kam mein 
Anyway, guys, I appreciate whatever I do have. I appreciate. I appreciate the presence of all of you. Good, bad, ugly. The good comments, the bad comments, the haters, the spammers. It just becomes part of life. Thank you for being there. And uh, let's hope I live till forty-four. Fuck, fifty-four. 64, 74. I don't want to live that long. Man. Fucked up. So I started the word, started my video with the word fuck. I mean, <laughs> ending the video with the word fuck. Ah, what a fucking life. Fucked up. <laughs> Alright, guys, take care. Alright, put your comments down below. I always read them. This is me signing off.